Our Heavenly Father, Creator of all things, Father, you are holy, righteous, glorious, and almighty. We give you all the honor, glory, and praise. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Open your Bibles. We're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. We are in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3. And this is taken from the KJV. And I'll begin reading right now. What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? And we know this is the writings of Paul. Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. God forbid, for them how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God have more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? And not rather 
as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, Let us do evil, that good may come, whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, and no wise. For we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre, sepulchre, which their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of apse is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. In the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith, of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe for there is no difference for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus whom God hath set forth for appropriation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is executed. By what laws? Of works? Nay, by, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Seeing it is one God, which shall justify the circumcision of faith, and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. This is Romans chapter 3 verses 1 through 31. These are the writings of Paul. And I encourage you to go ahead and read this yourself. Do your due diligent research. These are all truths, all truths. Verse 31 here in the voice says, So are we trying to use faith to abolish the law? Absolutely not. In fact, we now are free to uphold the law as God intended. God is here for us all. God is here for us all. And right here, it says right here in the voice, I'll read a little message here. It says, 
In the incarnation and sacrificial death of Jesus, God is at work to extend salvation to those who fall under sin's addiction. They are liberated from its power, cleansed of its stain by God's restorative justice. Paul means first the justice that belongs to God and to God and reflects his character. God is just fair or in a word righteous, but character is dynamic, not static. This means that God's justice must express itself in some way. So it is in the nature of of God's justice that he acts to restore and repair a world that is not the way it should be. Above all, it is God's saving actions through Jesus Christ that constitute the gift of God's restorative justice. Yes, God sent his only begotten son so that we would have salvation, so that we will have another chance at eternal everlasting life yes this is Romans 3 I had said um, a week ago that we were going to do Romans 2 and 3 but no I decided to do them separately there's so much good information here and I encourage you to go ahead and and read yourself Um, I'm going to read another message here before we close and this is from Romans 3, uh, from The Voice. And it says, Sin is more than just wrong choices, bad decisions, and willful acts of disobedience that violate God's word and are contrary to his will. It is that, it is that and much more. Paul knows sin is missing the mark or deliberately stepping over the line. But he also knows that sin is a power at work in him and every child of Adam. As strange as it may sound, sin seems to have a will of its own. Like an addiction, sin takes hold of us and causes us to act in ways we never wanted. For Paul, the cross of Jesus deals finally and definitely with the dual reality of sin. Not only are we forgiven of our sins, our willful acts of disobedience, but we are also liberated from the power of sin. And yes, 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 this sums it all up. And how are we liberated from the power of sin? Through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the sacrifice of God's Son. So I pray and I hope that you are saved, that you are on the saving side of the Lord. You are in the light and not the darkness. I encourage you to go over to my website, www.glendacoker.org, G-L-E-N-D-A-C-O-K-E-R.org, and check out the salvation prayer there. Check out um, the daily prayer there and um, see what the salvation prayer is all about. If you would like to dedicate or rededicate your life back again, have you slipped or or just slid back and you just want to refresh in yourself and come on back into the kingdom of God, right now at this moment it's not too late. So I encourage you to go over there and read about the salvation prayer. Say it out loud. And there's also a free gift there when you click on the link that's going to take you to another page. And... um there's a free download there for you on that page. So go ahead and check that out. And I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you listening. And I thank you. And um, we're going over um, next time Romans chapter 4 verses 1 through 25. So read up, read up, and understand for yourself. And if you have any questions or comments, concerns, prayer, um, you need prayer, or praise report, go ahead and send me an email at faith, faith at glendacoker.org, faith at glendacoker.org. That is my email address. So I thank you for tuning in, and um, thank you for listening. And Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, 
We just humbly come to you, Father, and we thank you for this time. We thank you for being here with us, Father God, right in the midst of us. Um, We thank you, Father, for your mercy and your grace, Father God. Um, I pray for everyone that's in a place right now of, of brokenness or sadness or sorrow, Father God. I pray that you may lift them up at this time, Father God. I pray, Father God, that they have the hope to know that, Father God, that you are here, that your glory is here. And, Father God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, Father God. And I just pray that everyone here is under the saving grace through your son, Jesus Christ. I pray that all are well, Father God. I pray any pain, any sickness, any anything, any afflictions that anybody is going through on this line, Father God, I pray that they be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you so much, Father. I thank you so much, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. Thank you, Jehovah God, our creator, creator of heaven and earth, creator of all things. Thank you, Father God, and I love you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Accept your healing. This is the Blessings Ministry. Accept your healing. Accept your healing. Jesus walked this earth. Jesus walked this earth. 33 years. He healed the lame, the sick, the blind, and everyone. Through the blood of Jesus, through the sacrifice of Jesus, healings are still going on today. Jesus is alive today. Call it out, shout it out, get rid of it. Put your hand on that pain and call it out away in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I thank you for tuning in. Follow me on any of my social media sites and I will be sure to follow you back. Um, Check out the website. There are articles that are coming out. I'm starting out uh, once a week, I believe on a Wednesday. And we know we are here every Tuesday, every Thursday, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I may chime in um, sometime during the week um, for a couple minutes here or there. So keep your notifications up and download the show. And um, you'll have it on your um, favorite device. We know this is internet radio and sometimes things don't always stay on forever. So you download them, download the site, you'll have it on your special device, special device. Because some of the shows, the older shows, they get put into the archives, the archives. So you can check that out. I think it's archives.org and type in my name, Glenda Coker, and check out the other, um, Shows and things that I have there in the archives as well, as well. Um, So check out the articles that come out. um, Starting to come out every week. Then the podcast Tuesday and Thursday. Something going on just about um, every day, every day of the week. And um, also check out my YouTube channels. I'm starting to do little YouTube shorts as well. You know, um, just motivation motivation and um check that out as well so i thank you all for tuning in tuning in and take care take care and stay stay safe